speak. Christian, congratulations on the film. Okay. Um, before we even get into the incredibly intricate plot and the incredible challenges yeah. that must have faced you, we need to talk a little bit about your own origin story because, yeah. of course, you met Peter Jackson, who was a producer, when you were very young and started working with him. Can you tell us a little bit how your relationship with Peter has impacted and influenced your career? Ah, uh, well, it's influenced. <laughs> but yeah, my relationship with Peter is, is, has sort of defined my whole career, really. I mean, I, you know, I was, a, I was a teenager who didn't have a job, who loved movies and could draw, and I was cheap um, <laughs> and, 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 um, and fast. And he, uh, yeah, he sort of hired me to storyboard Brain Dead, um, you know, and which he made for sort of two and a half million dollars. Um, and I worked on the special effects crew, and then, as you know, through through the, the next sort of decade, as you know, w you know where to, you know where to workshop and where to digital were created as uh, special effects companies. I sort of grew within them, and as Peter's sort of scope of films grew from Heavenly Creatures to The Frighteners to The Lord of the Rings, you know, I kept finding my, you know. I kept sort of staying relevant and sort of learning as much as I could until, you know, the Hobbit films, directing mm -hmm. Second Unit and um, working on King Kong and um, and eventually to here. So okay. sort of as his scope has sort of grown, I guess mine is sort of, you know, I've sort of, you know, followed in his wake a little bit. And this project, there's so much in it in terms of it's visually incredible and so intricate. There's so much world building involved. Mm -hmm. There are really interesting characters. And then there are these political themes that seem incredibly relevant, even though the books were written in 2001. Mm -hmm. What was your initial draw to it? Was it visualizing this world? Was it those undertones or was it a combination? I was, uh, it was all of it. I mean, I mean, my initial draw to it was that he um, he asked me to direct them because, <laughs> um, you know, he just finished The Hobbit films and, and, and he wanted to sort of you know um, you know give me a shot um, so he so so he asked me and I sort of you know, and I was you know, utterly terrified but sort of said yes I, it, like if, if I hadn't have said yes I'd be kicking myself if someone else had made it especially if someone else had made it and I, I didn't like the film I, you know I, I would have been like oh well, you know you idiot um, um, so you know so so he, he asked me I said yes and then and then every aspect of it was, was exciting and challenging and tough. You know, um, you know the aesthetic of the world, designing that. Um, you know, uh, the characters. You know, you know, finding, finding the right the right cast. Um, you know, designing Shrike, designing the airships. Um, I mean, the political stuff is all there in in, in, in the screenplay, and you know it. it, it we, you know, we didn't want to make a message film, but we also wanted, you know, th to show that the, the you know these are human beings, and that that we sort of get into sort of cyclic patterns that are, you know, sometimes you know very destructive, but you know that 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 we, that we are, you know, we you know that, that humans, and power and 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 their sort of misuse of power, you know, it, it, it's you know we've made the we've made those mistakes before, we're making them now, and we'll probably make them in the future. So. Um, Mortal Engine does seem to be following a trend of having these incredibly intricate stories that are set in kind of dystopian landscapes, mm -hmm. but particularly see young people becoming empowered yeah. and trying to make the world better. What do you think our draw is to these stories? And do you think that is a recent thing or a recent phenomenon, or has that always been there? I think it's always been there. I mean, it's sort of, it's it's a great, you know, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a sort of a, you know, it's a, it's a reoccurring theme, isn't it? That 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 we sort of look to our you know young people to 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 sort of you know, we we hope that they're going to have the courage. We, we we want them to have the courage and, and the strength to to you know to, to make the world a better place um, and, and and stand up to those who are misusing power. Um, so yeah, I think it's important to empower them, and I think it's important. You know, I think it's yeah, it's it's yeah, it's as relevant. You know, it's as important today as it you know, as it'll ever be. And just because we're from Ireland, we have to ask, of course, about your leading man, Rob Sheehan, <laughs> and why you thought he was so perfect for the role of Tom, who goes through his own journey of realizing he's been fed information that's perhaps incorrect and coming to view the world in a different way and become a bit of an idealist and a hero in his own clumsy way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, well, Rob, Rob, Robbie's fantastic. I mean, Rob, Robbie, I mean, you know, when we saw him, it was just like, um, you know, it's like, well, he's, he's Tom, because um, he just has a natural sort of charm. Um, he's very watchable. Um, 
and he's you know he's also slightly you know slightly goofy and naive. No, Robbie isn't, but you know <laughs> he just had a natural charm and 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 you know you sort of you, it's very important in a character because Tom is uh, he's our window into the story. I mean you know. He, 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 you know, Hester's quite an alien, mysterious character for a good part of the story, and we get to learn more about her through Tom. Tom is our, our, our sort of our, the character that we we actually enter the story through. So it was very important to, for someone to have someone who had that sort of just natural charm and charisma. And lead us into a story that is shortly about to start some really interesting conversations as well as prove really entertaining. So congratulations. Yeah, well, thank you. I had a lot of help. <laughs> <laughs> thank.